how he says in. He says e e <laughs> instead of in. He just dumped all of these out, but he's picking it back up, so that's good. Good morning, guys. I am waiting for Grayson to come over here because I have his clothes laid out. We're going to go to the zoo this morning for another activity with the little explorers. It's a little chilly this morning. It's like 53, but uh, the activity is inside in like their nocturnal habitat area, so... We just have to get there. So I, that's why I have him in kind of a warmer outfit. He hasn't worn this one yet. And it's got like a uh, white fleece on the inside. So it'll keep him warm. Felix is trying to get to us. I thought you were putting those in. Can you put them in? Hi, Felix. Anthony had an awesome birthday. Uh, Grayson helped him open presents. And he liked everything that he got. He got some coffee mugs, um, some travel ones. He got a picture of um, our family to put on his desk. He got a video game. He got Bluetooth headphones. Parents got him um, a tool, a new tool for his workbench in the garage. So he got very spoiled. He didn't want cake or anything, so I just made him dinner. He's lame. I would want cake, but he doesn't like sweets, so... Yeah, we just celebrated him yesterday, and now it's the next day. So we're just back to real life and um, going to the zoo. So that's exciting. We're going to the nocturnal habitat area, which I said before. And um, I think they have the bats in there. And Gray is, like, super into bats right now because it's, like, part of Halloween and spooky. So we'll have to see if we can find some. We'll keep it in. We'll keep it in.
Where's yellow E? E. E. <laughs> Where's the blue S? Where's blue S? E. Good job. Can you say S? Uh-oh, you chucked it. Can you go get it? Isn't this outfit adorable on him? It's so perfect for like cold days like today. He looks adorable. He always needs help getting the G out. You need help? Oh, this time it's R too, huh? There you go. There you go. Yeah, are you putting it in? Where's the green Y? Where's green Y? Where is it? Where's green Y? So I don't think I told you guys this yesterday, but unfortunately our microwave died yesterday. I was reheating some leftovers to feed Gray for dinner. And I put in the one, I put it in for like a half hour, or half hour, for 30 seconds. It reheated, it was fine, whatever. Gray ate the leftovers and he was still hungry, so I went to go reheat him more leftovers, put it in the microwave, pushed the 30 second button again, and it went for about two seconds, and then all of a sudden it just like died, and I could hear like a kind of like a burning smell, and then all of a sudden like the lights on the display started like flickering, and then after a while, like, I tried unplugging it and plugging it back in. And then when I plugged it back in, like, it would not turn on. And I've tried since, like, a day later doing it to see, like, if it just needed a second. Nope. Still not working. So we have no microwave now. And we used to have a lot of microwaves because Anthony and I had different apartments at one time. And then I think somebody gifted us a microwave or something like that. So we used to have a ton, but I think we gave them all away. So we have no microwave in storage, and so Grayson and I's big adventure today, which is good because I'm always looking for things to do in the afternoon, we are going to go to the store and buy a new microwave. I thought about maybe buying a microwave on Amazon because they usually have cheap things on there, but all the ones that I found actually weren't that cheap, and I bet you if I went to Walmart, I could find it cheaper. Not that I'm looking for the cheapest one out there because I want it to last a little while. Um, on Amazon, they actually they did have something cool that I almost bought. They had a microwave that hooked up to your Amazon Alexa, so then you could tell the Amazon Alexa to turn the microwave on without even touching the microwave, and I almost bought it, but then I was reading the reviews, and people were saying that the microwave is actually super tiny, probably because that's why it was so cheap. So I was like, oh, I don't want to do that. So I changed my mind, and so now we're just going to... Sorry, Gray's like dragging me down the stairs. So we're just gonna go to the store and buy one there. And hopefully we get find what we want. And I'm currently helping Gray down the stairs. He wants to take all of his animals down with him. I don't know why, but this is what we're doing. Good job. Oh. Okay then. Oh. He's like grunting. I still don't let him go down the stairs by himself because if I do, he'll just tumble. <laughs> Yay! Good job! You want your cow? Grayson is riding in his car. He's got his cow and he's got a box of Cheerios. <laughs> he is so funny. Oh no, he wants his frog. Felix is like, can I come too? Oh my gosh, this is too funny. Are we gonna go? Should I push you? Here we go. <laughs> this is so funny. Bye-bye. <laughs> Grayson, that doesn't go in your 
potty? Now is that your potty? Are you gonna sit on it? You gotta go poop and pee on the potty. Oh, good job. So I got this potty. Yeah, is that your spooky? So I got this potty for Grayson the other day because I just want him to start getting used to sitting on a potty and I mean he's nowhere near ready for it but to get him comfortable with it and this potty was like $14 at Meijer. It's a potty and then you can also take the seat off and put it on a regular potty and then you can also, it can also be a step stool. So I thought for $14 that was a pretty good toilet seat. And then there's like stickers and you can decorate it. So again, he's nowhere near ready to be start train potty training, but I want to get him used to it and comfortable with it. And we talk about pooping and peeing on the potty. So hopefully one day it won't be so hard. I've heard boys are really hard to potty train and they take forever. So we will see, but right now he likes it. Where's your potty? Oh, there it is. The other day he put a cookie in the potty. He's put his spooky snow globe in the potty. So yeah, he obviously doesn't really fully understand what goes in there, but we're working on it. Whee! Are you swinging? We're at a new park. It's kind of an older kid park. It says for five to 12 year olds, but... Are you all done? Okay. I've never seen something like that before. Great, get on the log. Grayson, is that your monster book? So Anthony's parents got Grayson this monster truck book. And he is obsessed with it. It's his new favorite book. You see the ghost and the mummy and the skeleton. Oh, wow. He loves all the spooky stuff. Mummy, yeah, that's right, mummy. Yeah, the skeleton. That's Frankenstein's bride. It's got Halloween spooky stuff and truck. It's a perfect combination. Frankenstein. Werewolf truck. And the ghost truck. And the vampire truck. Yeah. Hey guys, so I just wanted to update you on the whole microwave situation. It's late at night and Grayson's in bed. So we ended up going to Walmart and I did end up picking out a microwave. This is the one that I picked. Beforehand we had a GE brand and this time I got a Hamilton Beach brand. It was only like 60 some dollars. I like the color of it. It seemed like it had a good amount of buttons. We've used it a couple times already tonight and it's done fine. The only problem that I have with it and that I can't believe I didn't realize I didn't check for is it doesn't have a reheat button on it. Our old one, you would just put something that needed to be reheated and then push the button and then it would just like sense like when the food was done being reheated, but this one doesn't. So, I don't know, we might go to Target tomorrow and see if maybe Target has something better. Um, if not, we'll just keep this one. But I do have, I did keep the receipt from Walmart so I could always return it if we find one that's better tomorrow. But these microwaves are heavy, I mean, geez. So I put our old one in the garage right now and I had to call bulk pickup for our trash and I just have to wait until here when they're gonna come get the microwave. So, and then we'll just put it out and they'll come get it, which is nice. 
So, I don't know, kind of done with the microwave, but might have more to the story. We'll see tomorrow. But that's going to be it for today's vlog. Thanks for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up, like, um, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Say bye, Felix. Say bye.